Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm back in the garage. The cell is out of the Toyota. Um, I've been running some mileage tests and I've achieved about two miles per gallon increase with the existing production. I've designed a, or I've revised the design of my LM324 pulse width modulator circuit to incorporate a current limiter which can also serve as a constant current uh, pulse width modulation device which is what I'm going to be feeding the cell with going forward. I will increase the electrolyte concentration to approximately 35 amps when stone cold and it will be almost at 100 percent duty cycle on the pulse width modulator at that current level and then once the cell warms up and tries to draw more than that the current regulator will fold back and limit the amount of current going to the cell and maintain it at 35 amps and hopefully keep me around 3.3 liters per minute at a consistent level. I'm also rebuilding the cell today. I will be sealing off the edges of the uh, the existing exposed edges of the plate stack. I will be adding some stainless steel fender washers to the top of the DC electrodes going into the cell. If you see right there I've only had to retighten these once. The, uh, the plastic on the PVC cleanout cap relaxed slightly and created a loose fit on this, but it didn't melt. It just relaxed. So I had to retighten these nuts once to um, seal them back up again. And they've stayed pretty well sealed ever since that time. But I do want to put some stainless steel fender washers on there and they're around here somewhere but I can't seem to find them to show you right now but I'll show you when when they're finished and the third thing that I'm going to do to this cell is I'm going to be double strapping the electrodes or the I should, I should say the power straps that feed from the back side of the screws on the power terminals going down the cell to the plate brick uh, they are single thickness right now, and when I'm drawing 38 amps, they tend to get warm, which is obviously a heat loss and a, an effic efficiency loss in the cell. So I want to increase the efficiency as, as much as I can. My target is going to be 6 milliliters per minute per watt. Uh, I can't let Sid win. That's the whole point of all this. So, uh, game on. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't beat six milliliters per minute with the with the wet cell design. Okay, that's all for now. Zero fossil fuel. I'll uh, I'll update you once I have the cell apart and show you the modifications that I make to the cell.